Welcome back to the three months of modal logic, the sequel to 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with epistemic logic, looking at the logical awareness principle. Now, the principle of logical awareness in justification logic is going to refer to the claim that all of the axioms or the logical truths of a system are justified in virtue of being logical axioms. In fact, it will claim that they are justified all the way down. What do we mean by that? Well, what we're saying basically is not only are they justified, but their justification is justified, and their justification for their justification is justified, and so on and so forth. So if the LEM is justified by some reason R1, then the LEM being justified by R1 will in turn be justified by some R2. And that R2 justifying R1 justifying the LEM will in turn be justified by some R3 and so on forever. There will, however, be some concerns here about logical omniscience. It seems that if I'm unaware of a particular logical truth or am not aware that a particular proposition is a logical truth, I may not be justified in believing it, though it is always justified. For example, I might believe the law of the excluded middle because the leprechaun on my shoulder told me it was true. It seems that while the law of the excluded middle is always justified, I'm not necessarily justified in believing it. To remedy this problem, we're going to introduce something called a constant specification, which hopefully may start remedying it, but as a skeptic, I'm always going to be concerned about justification, and this very much seems like an infinitist cop-out. Now, as you may remember, we had in three of our previous modal logics the necessitation rule. This logical awareness principle is going to be kind of an analog of this necessitation rule in other modal logics. However, we're not going to formulate this axiom in the same way because of problems of logical omniscience. Rather, we're going to use constant specification and the axiom internalization rule to aid in making this idea explicit. If you don't know what those are, don't worry about it. We're going to do the next video or two on them. Up next, we're looking at constant specifications. As I said, I'm concerned about this way of justifying the truths of logic because I'm a skeptic and it seems that just axiomatically stating that something is justified is going to be very problematic for our basic idea of justification, but that's for another video. If you're curious on those ideas, check out my video on Pyrrho and the academics. Watch a new video every single day here at Carneades.org for 100 days and stay skeptical. Everybody.